Worthing FC TV with Darren Budd coming back to Worthing in a coaching role. Darren, how does it feel to be back over the Rebels? Uh, brilliant. Um, it was a, it was an unexpected call, but um, a call that sort of was always going to have a yes attached to the end of it. Um, but yeah, no, it's, um, it's 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 great to be back, and obviously I had a few messages from the fans and and people involved in the club already, and. Um, yeah, it's just nice to be welcomed back with sort of open arms, which is, which is good. Some people might not realise the situation and how this all came about. You only retired just last week and uh, stepped away from Burgess Hill. A few people thought it was a bit um, essentially not a coincidence, but it was kind of wound up that way. It totally was. Um, yeah, the last Thursday, obviously I was just still sort of playing for Burgess Hill. Um, just decided to, to call it a day. Um, not not officially retire, but just call it a day and and you know maybe take the last two months of the season off. Um, my wife was quite happy, uh, but then within sort of three four days, <laughs> I'm right back at it. Which to be fair, just feels just feels normal and 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 uh, and something that I I really want to do. So, and being at a club that you had a role in for so long as a player and even as a coach in the last two years, you were working in the coaching stuff and I saw quite a natural transition to be back here. Yeah, exactly. Like uh, coming back to a club like this is, you know, everyone's so welcome welcoming and um it's 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 a great club to be at. So that side of it's great. Um you just you just you just kinda of slip straight back in. Um on the coaching side from last season obviously I worked under Hinch all year so it that was that was great to see how he worked and 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 what he did for the club and and how he went about his business, so obviously learnt a huge amount from him, and obviously he's gone on to to to, to York now, which he, he fully deserves, and and uh, and good luck to him. Um, but yeah, it's 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 great for in for for this this role now, um, and obviously with Dean and Aaron uh, with me, and we can we can all work together and sort of make sure it's a, a, a successful last part to the season hopefully. Yeah, it's, uh, it's quite a surreal situation stepping in at the, at the time of the campaign that you guys are. How does that all feel coming in in this sort of way? Um, I think it's, it's, it's not too daunting because I think, you know, Aaron, myself and Dean's been working here obviously with the 18s, you know, we know the club's ethos and, and where we want to play and, you know, I don't think we'll be, you know, diverting from that too much and, uh, you know, obviously there might be subtle changes here and there, but I think, you know, the boys have done fantastically already this season to get themselves where they are. So it's kind of just, you know, keeping keeping that um, progress going and uh, and sort of, like I say, trying to finish as strong as we can. Um, and that hopefully means that we get a, a playoff place at the end of it. We've said about the support and the message you've had from the club. I think the fans will be, as we said, delighted to have you back here. You looking forward to hearing your song again? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of a it's a song with a with a little little bit of a double meaning. So you know, it's, yeah, no, but it's it's good it's good fun and the fact, like I said, fans are great. Um, everyone around the club, the volunteers, um, every, just literally everyone involved with the club. Us, it, it's a real sort of community vibe and and it's it's always great to be back and sort of hearing hearing the fans sing singing out.